Hello. So we're going to be learning how to make a course and within that, how to check grades, um, the form and post and the things like that. So what you want to do first, whenever you're on this site, it gives you the option to edit or you can check your courses. So we're going to go to settings and turn the editing on. And this will allow us to be able to do any edits we need to. Um, we can do add a new course. And for this page, you would put in what your course name is, as well as the course summary, any files you might need to add. And there are some drop down links that you can use in order to better assist the course. So for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm an English teacher, so we're just going to put um, English 102. And then you can add a shortened version, so just ENGL and 102. I'll leave the course start date and the course end date the same. Um, for the course summary, uh, we can just type a little something. Okay, and then we'll just go. Now, what you can do if you are finished, you can put save and display, or if you want to make any more changes, you can put save and return. So what we're gonna do is put save and return because we're still editing. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and press English 102. And then this is how the page will look. Um, to the students. Since we're still editing, what we can do right now is learn about the forum post. So for announcements, you would press the pencil. You can come here and change the name so we could put just forum post. So this would be the new name that they would see. All right. So we can go ahead on this column to site administration. And here will be the list of tabs where you will be able to further complete the site. So we'll go ahead to grades. And this would be the, uh, the grade report settings. So any of the graded history you had, an overview of just the entire course grade, and then specific students grades. All right, so we can go to general settings. Right, and this is the page that you would go to. Make any necessary changes that you would need to for the class. And then down here, you put save changes. Okay, and then we can go back to site administration. All right, let's go to courses. This is how you'd be able to manage any more courses that you would have within your uh, your class. And this is also the the users tab is used to uh, for your students so you can keep track of the students that you have. And if you have a new student, you can add new user and then also browse the list that you already have. All right. Now we can go back to home, All right? And we'll see our available courses and go to 102, All right? Then we go ahead and turn the editing off. All right, and this is be the page that your students would see the list of the different type of assignments that you would have all right as well as the forum post so thank you for watching this tutorial and i hope you learned something from it bye bye